If you remember, um, we did this set a few weeks ago. We had a video out on it, and um, we've had it on the market. We have had not one single response. So, occasionally, when you're flipping furniture, you come up with a fail. <laughs> and then this one apparently was. Um, I know that there were a lot of comments. People thought it was gorgeous, and they loved it, but in our market, it's just not selling. So... We're going to do a quick makeover on this piece today. Um, we think we're going to go ahead and go from white to black. And we're going to see if that makes a difference. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow and see what happens. It's only a few bucks worth of paint. So to reinvest and put a few more bucks in and see if it sells is worth it. And uh, sometimes that happens. You know, we just want to be real with you guys on some of the things you encounter when you're flipping furniture. And this is one of them. Um, we don't often get pieces that don't sell, but occasionally we do, and we've had this one out there and just not had response on it. So we're going to go for it and change it up. We're going to fill in these little designs in here and just make it plain black. We're going to leave the drawers, but the base bases we're going to paint black. See if that makes a difference for us. So while we're at it, if you could hit that subscribe button, the like button, that would sure be a help for us. Uh, the more people that like our videos, the more YouTube shares it to new viewers. So that's a huge help for us. We appreciate that. Um, okay, so let's get going. We'll show you what we're going to do. And then in the end, we're going to ask you to comment. Let us know what you think was better, the white or the black. So get ready. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove all the drawers so we can get ready for painting. As you can see, we have the garage door just barely cracked. It is chilly out here in Chicago today. Winter is coming. So you'll see us in our winter mode painting inside probably not too many weeks from now. Okay, so there are a couple little small holes that were left when we did this, so since they're so small, we're just going to take some Dixie mud, we're just going to spread it over that. Okay, 
Those things were a bigger pain in the butt to fill than I thought. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> So we got something, we don't know what it is. It's a box. Oh look, it's the, it's the aerosol, the aerosol trigger. trigger triggers. These are awesome. We do not have any and we needed them. Thank you so much. I do not see who it came from. We'll have to look into this and figure out if we can figure out who it came from. But thank you. You know who you are. Do you know the tags in there? No. Okay, well, we'll have to see if we can figure out who it came from. But we certainly appreciate that. That is from our Amazon wish list. Yes. And that's something we can certainly use. We've been kind of hoping for these. So we appreciate that. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so we want to spray these. But we're going to do a couple of tricks. These drawers fit really tight in here. And we don't want to get any paint at all but when you shut the drawers as you know sometimes you see the edge and when you're painting black and you see the edge when you push the drawer in you see that little white line and it really it's kind of irritating to us <laughs> so we're going to paint the fronts with the brushes and then i'm going to show you how we're going to take care of this so that we're not building up a thickness of paint and it'll match the black so that you won't see a line in here when you shut the drawer And we're using Rethunk Junk and we're going right over the last coat of Rethunk Junk. So we really don't need to do much as far as prepping the surface. We cleaned it up a little bit. Okay, so this is General Finish's water-based black stain. And the reason I'm using black stain is because stain tends to absorb in to the wood. So there's really no thickness to it. So what we're putting here is not going to really affect the doors opening and closing. And we just want to get a little bit of a black ridge in there so that if the door or drawer goes a little bit inside you don't see a white line in there so we're just using a black stain to touch this edge up because the paint will create a thickness we don't want anything thick so if you're doing black this is a way to hide your edges when the drawers are shut. Okay, so we're about ready to start spraying. I'm just going to give this a quick wipe down with the prep. Just make sure that we get any dust and stuff. This is the prep from 
We thunk junk. I'm just giving it a quick spray down. Just to make sure all the dust is off it and that we're good. We shouldn't have any problem with adhesion because we're spraying over basically new paint anyway. So we should be good. But I just want to make sure that everything's the way it should be. And then we'll let this dry for just a couple minutes and then we're going to go ahead and this is the first time we're going to be spraying um, the rethunk junk. Okay, so we got our paint loaded up in our home right finish max. We're going to go ahead and spray. Because the lighting is bad back here, it's going to be hard to show you this side, but we'll show you the other sides when we do that. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see this in the video or not. But if you can see how splotchy that looks on the top, this is drying. It's still wet, but it's drying. You can see how splotchy that looks. Now I want to show you when it dries. This is not completely dry, but pretty close. Look at how smooth this finishes. That's what a self-leveling paint is supposed to do. The thing is like glass smooth all the way across. That's a good self-leveling paint. Okay, so it's time for the final reveal. Remember the white like this is the before and the black pictures like this is the after. So we're gonna show you a number of these from different angles so you can see the befores and afters. Don't forget to go down in the comments. Let us know which one you like better, whether you like the before in the white or whether you like the after that's in the black. And in just a minute, we're gonna have a special announcement. So stick with us. So here's your two choices, side by side. The white is the before and the black is the after. Again, let us know down in the comments which one you like better. And special announcement, this Saturday, October 23rd, we have our fall slash Halloween challenge. We're gonna have over 20 YouTubers and furniture makeover artists that are gonna be involved in the challenge. Um, we are doing pieces of furniture either in a fall theme or a Halloween theme. It's gonna be pretty cool and they're gonna start posting on Saturday. So if you wanna get notified of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell and click all. That way when we post our video on Saturday, you'll get notified. And when you come to our video, you'll also see a playlist that you can access all of the videos that are gonna be posted by all of these awesome YouTubers. So until then, have a flippin' awesome day.